Time now to head over to the kitchen and check in with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher, and she joins us today with a guest from Table Creekside Restaurant in Sarasota. That's right. I've got Matt, and Matt, you always bring it. We are having spooky cocktails we for the adults' today. party. What are you making? Today we're making two cocktails. We're making witch's brew, and then we're also making a bloody goblin. A bloody goblin. If you want to have the best Halloween party, then you stay with us, and you're going to learn how to make these spooky cocktails indeed. So glad to have Matt from the Table Creek side here today. Okay, Matt, let's do our first spooky cocktail. Perfect. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is the Bloody Goblin. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, one to one and a half ounces of melon liqueur. And then we're gonna take, you can actually use coconut oil, or coconut oil, coconut uh, water or okay. aloe water. So it's kind of healthy, a not little. just spooky. A little, a little <laughs> bit. Uh, cuts the sweetness a little bit more for you. Good. We're gonna shake that up. This is a very easy, easy recipe. And these cocktails will be available the night of Halloween? They will be available. Good. We're going to pour that into our glass. Now, the glass has regular ice as well as dry ice in there. Aha, uh -huh. okay. there we go. Which gives it that effect. Look at. And then Spooky. lastly, we're going to top it off with cranberry vodka. Oh, man. There you go. I love that it. That is your bloody goblin. I love that. So if somebody wanted to make a non-alcoholic drink, they mm -hmm. could basically just use different juices, absolutely. right? Cranberry and still juice, use that dry ice. Juice. Yeah, ab absolutely. How fun is this? Now, Very over nice. at the Table Creek side, I know that you'll be pairing some of these fun cocktails, spooky cocktails, with your happy hour. We Tell are. us very briefly about your happy hour. Happy hour, we have uh, $5 tapas, we have uh, Kobe beef sliders, we have bacon jam flatbread, and sea bass fritters, as you can see here. They're all fantastic. We have a lot, an array of of happy hour cocktails. That part and isn't spooky food. at all. Matt, you always bring it, but go nowhere because the goblins are coming out. We have another spooky cocktail in just a few minutes. Donnie, it's getting spookier by the minute. Matt, what are we going to make now? Uh, we're going to make a witch's brew now. Okay, let's witch's do it. Pretty, uh, pretty simple, but uh, we do a, a couple other things. Mm -hmm. We have uh, how infused, not, I shouldn't say infused, we uh, have a ice sphere that yep. has certain kind of like Halloween things I in there. I love it, like an eyeball, an eyeball or is this a skeleton? Skull, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. And you know, you can buy those yep. ice ball infusers at one of the gourmet kitchen stores. Yeah. That makes yeah. it really Isn't fun. Isn't that fun? I like well, it a our lot. Our drink, we okay. have house infused grape vodka. And when you say house infused, so you're taking the vodka and you're taking the grapes and you're letting it sit. Three days. Three days in a cool, dark place. That's right. So you can make it at home. That's right. Okay. So we're going to take about one and a half ounces of this. Mmm. All right. And then we're going to take a little bit of fresh lime juice. Just and so I love that everything's fresh. Mm -hmm. That makes Freshly a difference in the cocktail. Every morning. Sour. And then a little bit of... Uh, grape juice for a little added color. I like it. Okay. Grape and could you use pomegranate? You can. Okay. We were actually going to use pomegranate. Ah, we decided see? to do grape instead. And then finally, we're going to add some petal dust. Now, petal dust is uh, something that you, bakers use. It's uh, decorating. Okay. Okay. But what it does here is it actually gives it a little bit of a shimmer. Ooh. So you're going to mix it up, and then you can see a little bit of shimmer in there, and it falls, and then you're going to place it right into your glass. Oh, this is so and cool. There is your witch's brew. Oh. Uh, Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, I think Donnie and I are headed for those in just a minute. <laughs> now, aside from you'll have these cocktails on Halloween, this year, for the first time, you're going to be opening on Thanksgiving. And I had the great fortune of coming to a pre tasting, mm -hmm. and it was one of the best meals Thank I've you. ever had. We so tell that. us the hours of operation. We are for open at the table from 11 to 8 p.m. Great. On Thanksgiving, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be primarily Thanksgiving menu, mm -hmm. um, but as you already know, it's going to be fantastic. I uh, let me just say, I <laughs> loved it, and you're going to love these great cocktails too. Really fun tips for everybody, and I love that we can still make them non-alcoholic yep, if we want absolutely. to. Absolutely. Come back, and we'll wrap it up with Matt from the Table Creek side for our spooky Halloween at the bar. And welcome back, Matt from the Table Creek side. You've brought it again with some spooky cocktail ideas. Walk us through what you did with the ice, because this is a really cute idea. So what we did was we bought some um, Halloween trinkets, mm -hmm. and we just infused it with 
infused ice. Did you love saying the word <laughs> I love infused? infused. That's it. But you put it in the you, ice. In the ice sphere, in the mold, yeah. and then you just uh, let it sit for a few hours, and then there you go. And it comes you know, out when like I was that. a kid, we used to think it was really cool just to put spaghetti or peeled grapes in a bowl and make people shut their eyes. Now we've like <laughs> glammed it up, right? so there you have you all these spooky cocktails. Absolutely. Really cool. And you mentioned that you were using some dry ice. Yes. And that really brings up that. It does. It makes it all smoky and foggy. And now you have to realize that you can't ingest dry ice. So you have to let it go. Let and it kind then, of go. Yep, and then, and then, and then you go. can. But yep. these, these are really fun cocktails. Yeah. And if you want to learn how to make these cocktails, you can go on mysuncoast.com, click on the recipes, and we'll have the recipes up there by about 24 hours. And you can just make this along, or even better, go to the Table Creek side Please for do. an early treat <laughs> before you pass out your candy. Thanks so Thank much, much, Matt. Always it. great to see you back Thank to you, you guys.